We're going to run through an exercise of cleaning a carburetor main jet on a Honda GX270 engine here. This same operation goes for all the mid-sized GX series Honda engines, GX240, 270, 340, and 390. Carburetor is located right here. This is the entire carburetor. This is the carburetor bowl on the bottom, shaped like a bowl. <clears throat> this screw that's at an angle right here is actually a fuel drain screw. This screw is the screw that holds the fuel bowl onto the bottom of the carburetor. Now this is a new engine here, so there's not any fuel in it. Normally, if I uh, if there was this it was if there was fuel in this engine, I would come over here. I would shut off the fuel shutoff control, which is this black lever, to stop fuel flowing from the tank to the carburetor. Then I would first loosen this screw here, which drains whatever fuel is in the bowl, or most of it anyway. Then I don't have to get deal with getting a lot of gas on my hands when I take the bowl off. So fuel is shut off. Let's pretend I already drained this. Put the drain screw back in. And I'm going to loosen the bottom bolt that holds the carburetor uh, or holds the bowl onto the bottom of the carburetor. This bowl is falling right off because it's a new engine and it comes off very easily. Sometimes if they've been on there a while the uh, bowl will get stuck to its gasket at the top and usually just a, a wrap with a wrench or something will break it loose and you can drop it down. Now the main jet in the carburetor is not easily visible. It is actually up in this stem. This is called the stem of the carburetor. This is the part that the bolt affixing screw was actually screwed into. So there's threads on the inside of this. So I'm going to take a narrow bladed screwdriver. It has to be pretty much as wide as the hole is here. You don't want it much narrower, otherwise it doesn't grab onto it. You feel around up in here until you drop into a slot. That's the jet. And you're going to unscrew this puppy down. Sorry, I'm watching what I'm doing and not watching the camera. So anyway, I've stuck this up in the hole. And I'm unscrewing this down, 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 down. And come on. It's loose. It just doesn't want to come out of there now. There it goes, fell on the floor, of course. So, here's the main jet. A little brass fitting, doesn't look like much. Blow it off a bit. And there's a hole through the center of it, which you're not gonna be able to see on camera much. But that hole right through the center of this jet that's screwed up into here, that hole is what all the fuel has to go through that gets from this bowl up into the engine. So all the gas that the engine burns goes through that little hole. What I'm going to do, let's put this camera down. The easiest way to clean these things is to run a piece of wire through them. What I like to use is a set of torch tip cleaners. These are uh, basically serrated hardened steel wires that you get to clean acetylene torch tips. You just select whatever the biggest wire is that'll fit through the jet and you run it through the hole. Uh, because these, these jets will get gummed up with old fuel or you can get dirt in them or whatever. So that's a little larger one there. That's about as, as big a one as I'm going to fit through there, I feel. So you run that through there a little bit and uh, jet's as good as new. You then reinstall it in the carburetor and go for it. But uh, main plugged main jets like this is a common cause of engines not running, especially if they have, after they've sat over the winter and uh, fuel has turned to varnish and gum and uh, nasty stuff in the carburetor and that's you know that's the smallest orifice in the carburetor so it's the easiest one to plug up and uh, we're gonna put this back together in the reverse order we took it apart and uh, that pretty much covers it thanks for watching